Uh, but there's more to, to John McCain. Here's this guy, Jeffrey Goldberg. I'm, not, I'm forgetting who he is already. I looked it up, but now I forget. He says, a core lesson of the Holocaust for John McCain, quote, he said that in the post-Holocaust world, all civilized people and the governments of all civilized nations should be intolerant of leaders who commit verified acts of genocide. Here is Adam Johnson to let you know why that's crazy and ridiculous that he said that and hypocritical to the nth degree. McCain voted against an effort six months ago to end the Saudi slaughter of Yemen, a siege that kills 15,000 and created a million cases of cholera. He routinely backs the war and selling of arms to the Saudis. Now he's a champion against genocide? What universe do you people live in? He's for genocide. We're committing siege warfare, which is starving people. That's what that is, siege warfare, which is a war crime. And we're helping do that. The Saudis do that in Yemen, and he, John McCain's all for it. Why? Because John McCain is a bloodthirsty fucking maniac killer. He's a murderer. That's what he is. <laughs> They're bombing fishing villages with cluster bombs. They're bombing school buses with children. And the Saudis stand by it. And John McCain's for it. It was fully within McCain's ability to end the Saudi destruction of Yemen earlier this year. He decided not to because the Saudis serve American regional interests. His concern for human rights was arbitrary and self-serving PR. So, uh, anybody trying to say that John McCain <laughs> cared about human rights or uh, was a warrior for peace... You know what? It's like, why are they so afraid to be exacting about this man's career? What is that? If we're celebrating war and we're in eight plus wars, why aren't they saying this guy loved every single war that I we've ever been in? He's a big champion of war. That's why he's being honored by, was it Lockheed Martin? Yeah, is that, Lockheed Martin. Yeah, you know, because he's always about the interests of Lockheed Martin yep. and that industry and that they call it an industry. Uh, right. National security industry, industry. makes me uncomfortable right. on so many levels. So if if he's such a noble man, why not just note specifically right. what he did successfully? Tell me. Uh, here's this guy, Mike Jollett. God damn it. Trump, he's, he's another one of these guys who got thinks he knows about politics because Trump. He doesn't like Trump, so now he... And I guess he was a musician or something or something. He's, he's got a blue check and... He gets a lot of retweets. Look at this, 11,000 retweets, almost 12,000 retweets. I've never had a tweet go half that. Get that maybe, maybe a pinned tweet I had. Anyway, he says, I lost my father recently. It was the hardest thing I've ever gone through. Whatever your views on John McCain or his legacy, his family is suffering right now. It costs you nothing to show him and his family the basic human dignity all people deserve. I would have an easier time if Meghan McCain wasn't such a repulsive piece of it who doesn't give a shit about poor people not getting health care when she's the richest thing in the world and never had to ever, ever worry about anything in her life, ever. Never had to worry about a dental appointment or seeing a doctor or getting a pair of glasses or affording a ride to school or having to turn... Nothing. So maybe that. Maybe if they didn't advocate for fucking over poor people on the regular... And keeping basic necessities of life away from poor people. Maybe maybe if they did that, I would give a fuck about John McCain's family. But they don't. They advocate the other way. They're the richest people in Arizona and they advocate for fucking over poor people. In the richest country in the world. So fuck you. 
I'm you know to God. I'm so I, sick of fucking assholes like this. I don't know. I don't know. You know, when uh, Mikhail Jolet says it costs you nothing to show him and his right. family the basic human dignity all people deserve. It, it costs me nothing. I gotcha. But you know what? How many people have died since John McCain has been in office right? who didn't have access to health care? What was it? 45 million people died every No, sing- no, no. 43,000 people a year died because <laughs> of lack Sorry. of access. And uh, 30 million people, 29 million people don't have uh, health insurance still. And let me tell you, Cindy McCain's net worth, it costs me nothing, is $300 million. That's what they have documented. That's what they're showing us. Yeah, and John McCain had his choice between two or three different government programs to help, to pay for his health care. <laughs> uh, here's what Adam Johnson said about it. Well, now that we're doing manipulative cl- claptrap which is what this is. This is manipulative claptrap. This is bullshit. Now that we're doing manipulative claptrap, let me say, I lost my father two months ago. Please feel free to drag John McCain. He helped start a half dozen wars. Politics is an adult's game. Avoid sentimental tripe, please, and thank you. Yeah, mic drop. Yeah. Absolutely. There you go. Because, so, yeah, that, that is what that is. That's sentimental yeah. tripe. So suck on that, Mike Jollett. And uh, by the way, everyone dies. Everyone dies. Everyone dies. I'm going to die. Steph's going to die. Ron, even Arno, how young he is, he is going to die. Sorry, Arno. This might be the first time you're hearing about this. <laughs> John McCain called for the mass murder of people on the regular. And uh, and if my dad was a mass murderer and when he called for mass murder all the time and when he died, I'd expect people to say some shit about it. Oh, it hurts my feelings. Hey, my dad died, but people were nice on Twitter, so. <laughs> what the fuck? Maybe they can take their three hundred million dollars, the McCain family, to buy earplugs and um, and blackout eye eyeglasses, so they don't have to read any mean things about their warmongering, bloodthirsty maniac of a fucking jagoff dad. <laughs> you know, he they go, oh well, he did, he did vote for the. Um, they say, oh, he did vote for Obamacare. He saved it. Remember with that thing. Remember, mm-hmm. he, yeah, and then he voted for the tax thing, which fucked over people, health care. Jake Tapper says, I hope I don't run this clip for another 50 years, but how do you want the American people to remember you? So this is the uh, Jake Tapper, this video clip. It says, I am able to celebrate a wonderful life. Senator John McCain told me almost a year ago, and then there's a video. And he says, I hope I don't run this clip for another 50 years, but how do you want the American people to remember you? McCain, he served his country, and not always right, made a lot of mistakes, made a lot of errors, but served his country, and I hope we could add honorably. Go back to Adam Johnson. McCain's mistakes and errors resulted in hundreds of thousands of deaths, but this won't matter because those deaths were in Iraq. Those deaths were Iraqi, Vietnamese, Palestinian, Yemeni, e.g. populations with zero purchase among U.S. media elites. <laughs> exactly right. Uh, here's someone's uh, hot, uh, someone, hot couch and blaring DVD men <laughs> at your, by your logic said, I like this thing where we have someone who we only know because of her evil family, meaning Meghan McCain, who we only know because of her evil family, but we're also forbidden to make any jokes about them. I love that the nation uh, all has this 35-year-old fucking idiot we all have to coddle and raise together because her dad's long life is ending. We all have to collectively coddle Meghan McCain because her 81-year-old warmongering bloodthirsty dad Adam Johnson replies to that, says, I like that as a country, we collectively value manners over brown and black lives. Like this isn't even rhetorical flourish or meant to be provocative. It's objectively, demonstrably true. We live in an Edwardian Edwardian period drama. It's sick. I don't even understand what that means, Edwardian period. What what is that, Ron? Oh, I have no clue. Yeah. We'll have to tweet Adam Johnson. 
Maybe we'd need to tweet at Edwardian. <laughs> <laughs> but that is true. It's like you. It's like let's all show how that we're great. We're a great country because we can have manners when a warmonger dies. What? We should all be ashamed that we let a guy like that influence our politics for so long. And we and then we venerate him. You know what? Why don't why don't we do this in uh in memory of John McCain? Why don't we in memory of John McCain end the wars and wipe out homelessness? Yeah, how about that? Why don't, why don't we do this in the name of John uh, McCain? Let's do that as a tribute to his honorable nice. life that he led in behalf of right. the military industrial how complex. Get, how about we get health care to all the poor people that he fucked over with that tax vote? Mm-hmm. How about that? And How about every single veteran who's living on the fucking street right. is cared for and their family and their children right. can be sent to college? Why don't we do that in yeah. honor of John McCain's wonderful life? Thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed. Even if you think you are, you're probably not. It only takes a second to check. And then you have to ring that bell so they send you a notification when we drop a new video. Otherwise, they won't tell you when we drop new videos. And if you like our show, please help support it. Become a patron. We give you hours of bonus material every week. And we give a live stream. We do a live stream every Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific time when you could ask us questions and we answer them back. Thanks for your support. Bye.